What's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Craig Crash, and today is a bittersweet day in the world of Fortnite. Uh, we've been getting uh, a lot of great teasers over the last few days um, as far as Season 10 goes, but all indications point to a lot of new things in Fortnite, a lot of old things in Fortnite uh, coming in Season 10, but... All in all, a very different map. So I thought it would be a great idea to go into Fortnite and say goodbye to the map as we know it. We don't know what's going to change. We could get a completely new map. Uh, it, it just could be all sorts of insanity, of course. You'll also see my reaction to Season 10 as well as my first game of Season 10 uh, later on in the week. But today we're going to say goodbye to the map some of my favorite locations as well as drop one last time in my og -est of OG locations. If you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. This video was recorded on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash craigcrash. If you want to go leave me a follow there, it would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's go say goodbye to the map. All we know is we're going to see big changes to the map, and I would be remiss if I didn't say goodbye to the old map uh, because, you know, I want to say my goodbyes. It's been a map, you know, when I first started, I started in Season 3. That was when I first started playing the game. That's why I've got my uh, Mission Specialist with the Mission Specialist Back Bling, the Eva Pickaxe, the Carbon Glider, uh, which is what my, you know, skin combo, all the, all, you know, the combination I had through the first few months that I uh, played the game. But the theory I have is that Season 1 is what we're going to get, and it's going to be just the same map. It's just going to be an alternate timeline with all the Marvel crossovers and stuff. I think that's definitely a possibility. You get a different timeline, so, you know, instead of, you know, maybe Dusty Depot doesn't get hit by a meteor, but maybe Moisty gets hit by a meteor, and maybe... I mean, I'm not saying the same things will happen, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's just basically... You know, uh, they use the old the season one map as a template. And I've also heard because in season ten, uh, Allier and Muzelk have both come out and said that like, wouldn't it be cool if each week of the season was a different map from um, those seasons? So you know, season one would be week one, season two would be week two. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens. But all I know is is that the map's about to change big time. So hey, why don't we go back to the place that's uh, at the kind of the center of everything, and that is uh, Dusty Depot. Dusty I Debit. don't see, thank you. Dusty Depot. I never really landed. I never really landed here. Uh, even after you're changed to a divot, you basically be became Tilted Central um, when the Hop Rocks came in. But you were really fun to traverse because of the Hot rock, Hop Rocks in season four. Uh, that was a lot of fun. But and you were fun to get materials in. Uh, when it was, uh, you know, once you, once trees started to grow here, it ended up being a pretty solid location. Uh, this is where most of, obviously, the Team Rumble, like, final circles happen. Um, so I've been here quite a bit. Um, I never usually landed with you, Dusty, De uh, Dusty Depot, Dusty Divot, but, you know, uh, uh, because, uh, you're about to go away, I'm gonna have a little bit of a cry, then have a little bit of a wave, a salute, if you will. Thank you for your service, Dusty Depot, Dusty Divot, Faust. Salty, again, because I'm a coward, I never usually landed here until Team Rumble came out, but you were my Team Rumble drop. I will miss you tremendously. I have to give you a slow clap for all the loot you've given me, all the challenges you've helped me to complete kills at Salty didn't seem as dull, as daunting anymore uh, once Team Rumble came out and you were my typical Team Rumble drop. You became pretty much the best drop in the game after they did what they did to Tilted. Thank you for your... You will be greatly missed. Alex, I'm also going to say goodbye to our duo drop which is this mountain right here. You go from this house to the spaceship, you go down there, and then we rotate in. We did come here often because we didn't hardly ever do duos together, but when we did do duos, this is where we were. I'll tell you my favorite place to go to if I ever landed fatal was right over here. Because there's always usually a chest spawn that goes right here. You get 
this chest, you pick up what's there, and then you head into this little forest here, and you, uh, and you basically loot up on mats, and you get ready to then fight the impending fight. Um, Fatal, you were, you, after the corn, uh, was introduced back in season six, made it definitely interesting to be here. Definitely enjoyed hiding in here whenever I had to place high. Oh, a llama! You have rewarded me once more with a llama that's just chilling here in the cornfield. But you know what? When I did land here, it was always fun to hide out from way better players in the corn. You provided great shelter, provided great memes, and you were always where I would immediately get killed after landing Lucky Landing. Lucky landing. You were Spencer's favorite landing spot. And usually a pretty good just chill land if we didn't want to fight anybody. I would always land up here. Get this chest. The fall damage you would provide. Oh, gliders, thank god. Fall damage you would provide if you forgot that that <laughs> little drop was there. It was always hilarious. It was fun to loot this, then go up here, and then venture into the city. Lucky landing, the chill landing spot, which ironically enough, always seemed to have like the circle never used to be super far away when I was. So for that, we thank you, and we mourn your loss. All right, Snow Biome, I've got one message for you. Yeah, never liked you. Never liked you, Snow Biome. From the minute you came here and took away our beloved Greasy Grove, you have been a plague on our lives. I'm glad that you're potentially going away, and I hope you never come back, Snow Biome. That's how I feel about you. The only semi-good thing was Polar Peak, and then you took that away too. So rot in hell, Snow Biome. Viking Village. You know, I liked you better when there was a, just the house on this hill because that was part of my OG drop, was to go to the houses that are down just below this, then land here, uh, or then come up the hill and just loot up here. Um, so once you became a Viking village, I was never super fond of you, but you know what? You were here. I will miss you. And we appreciate you being a part of my Fortnite experience. I would actually loot here when... Uh, I used to play playground with my friends when we used to like all oh, just play playground for an hour. I would land up here uh, for whatever reason. It just kind of always seemed like a chill, like just kind of like uh, lucky. It was just kind of like a chill drop. And I will miss you, Viking Village. And then we would go down to the soccer stadium, which is always a fun place to go to. Snobby, you're the first named location that I thought about going into that I actually felt good about going into because, you know, Snobby is right next to, like I said, where my OG drop was. So the fact that Snobby is here in a named location and you feel kind of wimpy because you always drop it a non-named location, it always, you know, makes you feel good to go to a place like Snobby. And so... I wave goodbye and I thank you for being part of my Fortnite experience. A villain base... You are single-handedly responsible for what I think is, and was, the best Fortnite live event in Fortnite history. That, of course, being the rocket launch. Thank you for providing uh, a great memory um, in that respect. Um, it was really cool. Um, I, I give you an applause, a thumbs up. You weren't, you're not what you used to be because they've had you decay over time, but... I do greatly appreciate the fun uh, that that event provides.
invited. Another favorite on the drop list of Craig Crash would always land up top here, work your way down, eventually come out and then move the rest of the graveyard. I had some fun moments, including one time I impulsed somebody off the edge over here. Didn't get kill credit, but it was a lot of fun. Haunted Hills, you're another chill spot that I loved, and you are most likely going away, but I thank you for your service. Ah, uh, good old, good old Junk Junction. Our home and native land. You know, Me landing here has been a meme. We land junk because we're trash. But you know what? It's provided some fun times, some fun experiences. I salute you. And I also mourn the loss of our home and native land, Junk Junction. Yes. Were you far away from pretty much every circle ever created? Yes. Were you sometimes a really terrible loot spot? Yes, but you were there for the meme, for me landing here because I'm garbage, and you helped me complete some challenges, some challenges for the channel as well, and uh, I'm getting a little, getting a little emotional, oh, Junk Junction, I long that you're here when I wake up on Thursday, but if not, you have served me well. You can piss off too, the block, you took away... You took away Risky Reels, and for that, I will never forgive you. Pleasant Park. Another spot that I've looted quite a bit. You've provided some play good playground moments. You've provided some good just moments in general. You're another spot that I looted quite a bit once Team Rumble came out. You were very, you were very kind to me, and for that I salute you also. Love that this became a uh, football field uh, made for some fun moments as well. Lazy Lagoon. You know, I can definitively say that I kind of like you a little bit better than Lazy Lynx. You were the circle a lot of the times in Season 8 um, in Team Rumble, which I play obviously uh, probably more than any other game mode. I don't know really how to loot you still, but you're a pretty cool place altogether, and I will miss you. I will miss you greatly. Sayonara. Pressure Plant, on the other hand. Pressure Plant. You were responsible for the second best um, event in Fortnite. Um, that, of course, being the monster, uh, you know, versus... Uh, versus robot event uh, close second to the rocket launch uh, you provided that which I do thank you immensely for so bravo thank you for the show thank you for all the uh, the great the greatness that was that live event I, I think it was awesome thank you for providing that for us sunny steps on the other hand I don't prefer you to wailing woods but, you know what, you did help Alex and I get our first win of Season 8, and so I appreciate that greatly. Lonely Lodge. You know, Lonely Lodge is a lot like that local business, that local bar, that local restaurant. It's kind of, kind of a shithole, but at the same time, when, it, when everything else kind of fades away and that's the only thing that's left, you know what? You learn to appreciate it. Lonely Lodge. I would always come here, land at the watchtower, and loot up. I would typically land up here on the watchtower, loot it, then head, of course, um, on down, and then head into the actual lodged area. A lot of fun, and I will definitely miss you dearly. Salute to you.
Thank you for your service. And goodbye, Lonely Lodge. Now we're passing the RV park, which is one of my landing spots when I'm doing solos. The lower landing spot is the mansions. Won't miss you guys a ton, but you know what? You are part of my Fortnite experience, and I will miss you. Racetrack. As an Indiana resident and someone who is a huge Indy 500 fan, and someone who would not have been able to do an Indy 500 themed Fortnite video, I definitely appreciate you, Racetrack, and all that you have done for Fortnite in general. I will mourn the loss of Racetrack someplace that I uh, landed quite a bit with uh, Spencer, Chris, and uh, Maria, and everybody that I normally play with. Paradise Palms. Now, you know, obviously, if you know me, you know I used to land Moisty. So, Paradise Palms actually is bittersweet for me. I loved Moisty Meyer, and honestly, when you were first introduced, Paradise, I thought, hey, you're pretty much just tilted southeast. I avoided you at all costs. But you know what? Oddly enough, I didn't think I was going to like you, Paradise, but you grew on me, and I will definitely miss you dearly. You were a great place. I salute you, and I, I apparently will twist you as well, and we will also weep for you. So long, Paradise Palms. You will be sorely missed. Unless, of course, Moisty comes back, and then I will probably forget about you completely. But you know what? It's fine. It's all, it's all good. Now, someone, please explain to me why, if I'm standing here, I'm not in Shifty Shafts. But if I'm standing here, or probably more accurately, here, I'm in Shifty Shafts. That is not Shifty Shafts. This is Shifty Shafts. You know what? I'm not going to miss you at all, Shifty Shafts. <laughs> it was on this very hill that I got my first ever win. I was in squads with Spencer and a couple of his friends from Colorado. Somebody dropped down from a structure here. I was able to get them with the SMG. And then the last guy died to the storm right around here. Oddly enough, it was on the hill that overlooked Tilted Towers. And these, the last two locations that I have, or the last two named locations that I have, are controversial because it's Neo Tilted and it's Mega Mall. Neo Tilted, you're a shadow of your former self. And while I love the fact that you have a Durburger building now, I hope to God that you go back to being regular Tilted or at least something different, something reimagined. But I will, however, thank you, Tilted, for the fun times I had in playground mode, getting in there with my friends, 1v1ing, uh, you know, 1v1ing in the way that we 1v1, not build battle, but just, you know, looting up, coming here, fighting, having a good time. Uh, it was, it was, it was a lot of great memories here at Tilted Towers. It's where I filmed some of my first videos, um, and I will, I will miss you. I will miss you dearly, especially you, Burger Man. Again, Monster, I invite you to hold that L. Hold that L, monster. The last named location is, of course, Mega Mall. So, I actually like Mega Mall a little bit better than I like Neo Tilted. Um, I do miss retail, but I mean, at least I think this is better and more well done than um, Neo Tilted. And I also like how they kept the residential area um, in pretty good shape as well. So, you know what? I will miss you. I wave goodbye to you. Old Retail Row, New Mega Mall. And in general, I just weep for the old map. Because we're likely going to get a new one. So this is the last time. I want to, want to visit every place on the map at least one more time before uh, Season 10 hits. So thank you. Thank you for a fun, you know, a fun experience. One last spot that we have to go say goodbye to. And that, of course, is uh, the two houses. I mentioned it earlier when I talked about the Viking ship. Um, and that is these two houses that are down here. Um, I definitely have landed here many a time. I've screwed up my landing here this time. But generally, I elude it either one or two ways. 
obviously the broken house is close to here and I will either come here and loot broken house afterwards or loot broken house and then come to this location. So we've got into a game of Team Rumble and we'll see just kind of how this area treats me. So yeah, land here and then usually move on to uh, the other. So either one or the other basically. I would either land here and go to those houses or I would land at those houses and then come here. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. I want to be here. I want to Oh! You know what? Three kills is the max I've ever had in an actual, like, public match. Yeah, I know I'm a bot. Uh, and that's a good way to end it. It's a good way to say goodbye to the old map, say goodbye to the old drop locations. A win in Team Rumble. You know what? Gotta love it. Fun stuff. If you did go on to enjoy it, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in Season 10.